Travelers Vacation Travel Hacks here with the Genie Stacking Guide, possible triple park hop genie strategy guide. Uh, but we also talk about a rope drop st strategy in Animal Kingdom. So if you're like, well, I'm still trying to determine if genie is the investment me and the family want to make. Uh, this video, I think, really highlights the opportunity that genie shows. But it also highlights some of the opportunity that rope drop uh, uh, provides as well. So let's go ahead and hop into it. We don't want to assume anything. Uh, there's two different terms that Disney uses. So if you're familiar with this, you can probably move forward to uh, 15 seconds. But we got individual lightning lane, uh, which is only available to on-site Disney guests uh, starting at 7 a.m. until the park opens. When the park opens, it's fair game. Then there's lightning lane. You don't want to have the same rules for the same kind of namesake. Uh, if you're at a Disney property at 7 a.m., uh, it's it's for everyone. Whether you're at a Disney hotel or a Hilton, uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter. So those are the two terms and the difference. Are, hey, how can I tell? They both say lightning. One you pay per the ride. One you pay per the day. Uh, if you see a cost next to the time, that's an individual lightning lane. If you just see a time, that's the whole day. So hope that helps. Spend some time on this. Rewind it if uh, that went a little fast. But that's an important term because we're going to move forward assuming such. When can you buy Genie? Uh, the individual lightning lanes, like we mentioned earlier, start at 7. But to purchase the whole day event, uh, you can do that as late as midnight. Or if you're the Disney planner, uh, you can probably wake up at 6.45 a.m., have a nice cup of coffee in your hand, and purchase it then. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, you might wonder, what well, does it sell out? Uh, you know what? As recently as this past Sunday, we're approaching the end of March. Uh, so spring break, higher volume. It did sell out uh, afternoon uh, this uh, spring break. So it does. Uh, but right now we haven't seen any risk before. So if you're worried, though, you're like, whoa, I don't want to miss it. This is an opportunity. Midnight, uh, go ahead and uh, you know make it happen if you want. But you got to wake up at 645, 650 anyway to get going. All right, let's hop into the day. My practice genie day, we're going to build it together. And remember the possibility for a triple park hop. Let's see. Uh, so you wake up at 7. First screenshot, you say, whoa, whoa, Mr. Travel Hacks guy. Why, why is this at 7.15 a.m.? We, we missed 15 minutes. I can't get screenshots of time until uh, we, you know, 7.15 is when they start showing the times. Otherwise, it just says Genie Plus available, and that, that's no good. But at 7.15, you can see that Avatar Flight of Passage is well into the 5 o'clock range. Dinosaur has barely moved. Tough to be a bug. I would never, never waste a Genie Plus on tough to be a bug. The standby time is always 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, even during the holidays, it's, it's pretty low. 15, 20 minutes is the highest I've ever seen it. Safari is up to about 120. Cali River Rapids and then ever. So the things, if you are you know, Genie Plus in this thing, the things you'd be looking at is probably the Navi River Journey. If you've never rin, uh, ridden it, it's a festival for the eyes, uh, the, the eyes rather. It's a festival for the eyes. It's a, a scenic adventure. Is it a thrill ride? No, no, far from it. Uh, is it thrilling to see? I suppose so. I do. I, I think it's thrilling to see. And uh, so it's, uh, there you go. Let's, let's move on. So we took, uh, we're going to assume that if you're rope dropping, uh, we're not booking Genie yet. You'll, you'll see why we haven't booked a Genie yet. If you're rope dropping, we are assuming that you are doing Flight of Passage and you should be done with it by, by about 8.30. Why do I say that? Well, let's take a look at 8.30. Flight of Passage is already two, two hours. So we are assuming that either you book the individual lightning lane or you, you know, it packed everyone into the bus and you went right there because as you can see the time goes to 120 so as we build the day that's what we got that's what we're looking at so what do we do after 8 30 so well let's think about where we're at and we don't want to crisscross uh over the the, the whole event where we're at is uh, in in avatar land so when you walk out of the park you're gonna have two exits one leads you to asia uh where, where everest and dinosaur is and then the other one leads you to the safari and uh, so to save the feet, because um, remember, there's a triple park hop opportunity, I would recommend heading over to the safari. It says 50 minutes, but let's see what happens by the time we get there. Uh, and it's, it's time well spent. Safari, I always recommend it. But hey, if you're like, no, 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 I, I want to just look at the times, you can build your own thing. Like, Wait a minute, this is 25 minutes and dinosaurs less than that. So let's, let's take a look. 
I'm going to head to the safari just because it's early and uh, it, it's going to build a little bit more. We get in line. We do the safari from 830 to 915. Uh, and we, we, we head off. We're going to be out of the park uh, here in about an hour, hour and a half anyway. And you'll, you'll see why. When we're done with the safari, let's take a look at wait times and why, why I ended up with that shorter time. Look at the safari at 9 a.m. 35 minutes. It's, uh, it's everyone that's rope dropping is making their way around. Everyone that's coming into the park now, it's at the back end of the park. So it is 35 minutes. It stays low in the morning. As I go through the next 15 minute intervals, you see the, the volume build. But by the time we get done, we, we're, you know, we're, we're heading off. So after safari, let's head to Everest. It's right down the road there a little bit. And we will do the safari from 915 to 940. So let's take a look at the wait times at 915. So we're, we're heading to Everest, still about 20-minute wait. That's fine. Let's take a look at 930 right now. Like I said, we're still, you know, between the safari and Everest. We're probably on Everest right now. Uh, and we are about ready to hop. Oh, the lines are starting to build, everything except dinosaur. Uh, safari, all right, so heading back up to 45 minutes. 9.45, 50 minutes is the safari. It's going to build. It's going to play around about an hour for a bulk of the day. Uh, Everest is starting to build, and right now we should be getting in line at Dinosaur. All right, so by this time, at 10 o'clock, we should have accomplished Dinosaur, Safari, uh, Flight of Passage, and Everest. So we've accomplished the rides. Now, you're going to have a decision to make here. Do you want to stay and see the Lion King, the Nemo ride, the birds? Uh, they got a really cool bird show. Uh, how do you want to spend your day? You're going to have an option. You just kicked major tail, cool two hours. Uh, the option you have now is to go back to the hotel, rest, pool, water park, Typhoon Lagoon, whatever. You're going to have some options here because you really did a lot of the work. And we said, well, wait a minute. We purchased Genie. All this time team, you could have been stacking Hollywood Studios rides. And that, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to stack Hollywood Studios. So while you're riding rides, you purchased Genie, but you haven't used any Genie rides at uh, Animal Kingdom because you, you rope dropped it. So the whole time you're building your Genie day. So while you were riding, you'll see everything come together here in a minute. So 5 to 6 p.m. Let, let's go back one slide just a moment. Uh Hollywood Studios is probably the most, uh, has some of the, the, the best rides. Uh, Animal Kingdom, you know, has great rides too, but you saw the times you were able to go in there and conquer and have the experience. Take a look at this. Uh, Rise of the Resistance at 7.15 a.m. If you book that, uh, you know, you're, you're going to have a great evening. Uh, otherwise, the flagship rides you're booking at Slinky Dog, like I said, you're on at 7 a.m. If you're... Uh, book it by 702, you're going to be able to get Rise of the Resistance and Slinky Dog. And you did. So look at this. You're already building your nightcap. It's only 10, 10 30 a.m. It's not even hot yet at Animal Kingdom. And you already have ridden many rides. Take a look. I mean, this is what you've done already. Four, four rides. You can still do more shows. It's uh, just, it's early in the day. But now you're starting to build your Hollywood Studios evening. Let's take a look how that goes. So the park opens at 8.30, uh, sometimes 8, sometimes 9. Uh, park hours vary, but you can make your next fast pass for Hollywood Studios two hours after the park opens. This is going to assume that the park opened at 8.30. Just be mindful that times change, and uh, this was filmed uh, at, a, at a moment in time when that was the, the park open. So let's see what's available. You are now eligible to make your third Genie Plus. You're, you're probably doing something at Animal Kingdom, either heading back to the bus or, or, or whatever, uh, you you have more options here. And this, we got Millennium Falcon. Oh, let's let's take the Millennium Falcon. Look at this, three rides. It's 10.30. Let's go to 12.30. All right, we're building the day. A lot of things are starting to sell out. Pay attention to that. Slinky Dog's been gone all day. Rise of the Resistance has been gone all day. Millennium Falcon's getting up there. I think this time we should take, I think, the Twilight of Terror. It's just about gone. See it? See how, what happened? So the Tower of Terror at 1030. It was at 530. Now at noon, uh, the park closes at 930. You're going to be able to ride at 9 to 930. There you go. So now you got four rides. It's 230. You're probably at the pool, maybe getting ready to head to the uh, Hollywood Studios. Uh, but you don't have to. Uh, you, you know, you don't have to. You can still rest, nap whatever, you're still building your day. 
All right, now it's 2.30. What are we going to add here? What's available? So many things are gone. So many, so, so many things are gone. But Toy Story Mania is not. Let's add that. All right, so we got Toy Story Mania. Now, 4.30, we're going to have a decision to make. Do we triple Park Hop? Not a lot left to book. Uh, you could do Star Tours. You could. I, I would. Uh, you could do Muppets. You don't really need to. Standby is always about 10 minutes. Uh, even during the holidays, it's close to 10 minutes. You know what you could do? You could park up. Uh, let's recap before we do that again, because you know, you're know you in Hollywood Studios till 930. You could park up. I don't know if I would. I might call it a day. Two days, two parks is enough, but you did buy Genie. So let's see what's available at Magic Kingdom. Big Thunder is available 910 to 1010. So if you do Tower of Terror at 9, you know, if you drove, you could head over to, <coughs> you could probably be a big, big Thunder before 10. Probably, maybe, before 10, 10. They have grace. Uh, I'm just giving you options. Uh, so this is what you select at uh, 630. 8.30, you could add, it's a small world. You're not even in the park here. You're probably still riding rides at uh, Hollywood Studios, 9.15 to 10.15. Good. And that's it. So that's that's the possibility for a triple park hop. It's probably worth noting that maybe you don't. You could. Uh, you, you, I just let you know the possibilities. You invested in it. The other thing that's also worth noting is as Magic Kingdom winds down, uh, it's 11 p.m. close time. Most nights closes at 11 p.m. Sometimes, especially during the summer, uh, during high volume times, it's not unusual for the Magic Kingdom to close at midnight. So you could transition over and do what we call close the shop. And the wait times of all these things after the fireworks, people leave after fireworks. Fireworks is at 9 p.m. A lot of people leave. Uh, there is a post fireworks rush at Space Mountain. So 75 minutes is what you're going to see. Seven doors, uh, 60 minutes. Uh, so at 830, it's 60 minutes. It's normally 100, 120. That's because a lot of people are leaving the line and don't want to be in line during, you know, one of the better fireworks shows. So you, you but as you get closer to 11 o'clock, get closer to, you know, it's wouldn't be unreasonable to think you could do Haunted Mansion, Seven Dwarves, It's a Small World, Big Thunder. You you certainly could. They're 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 close. I I, I think it's possible. I would try it. Uh, but if my kid was tired, maybe I wouldn't. So anyway, I just this is all data for you. Data for you to consider with the investment you're thinking about making. And I hope it helps, and I'll see you in the next video.